Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick video talking about Horizon Forbidden West and the whole PS4 upgrade situation. Now, I don't know what's really going on here, but I remember Jin Ryan saying about five months ago that the upgrade from Forbidden West to the PS5 version, the PS4 to PS5 version, would be free. There'll be no $10 increase. But if you're on your PS5 and you're trying to buy the game, you can only buy it for $70 or £70, depending on your territory. So, what does that mean? Well, I decided to check it out, and since PS4 games work on PS5, and see if can we buy the PS4 version and still get it for free. Now, if you log on to the PS into your PS5, you can try to get the PS4 version on your console. It's nowhere to be found. But like as you can see here, you can still get the PS4 version on the website. So you know, log into your website or you know, use the mobile app, whatever it is you can still find us there. And it says here, digital upgrade to PS5 version, which we know is supposed to be free, right? If we go down to the description, sorry, you can see here that it says, buy the Horizon Forbidden West digital version for PS4 from PlayStation Store to get the Horizon Forbidden West digital version for PS5 at no extra cost, at no extra cost. But they're kind of making it hard to do that. So this is just a simple guide. Uh, to buying the PS4 version, and hopefully, hopefully they keep that promise and not being stupid and saying, "Well, you have a PS5, why do you buy this version?" Whatever, whatever, whatever. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So great stuff, great stuff, great stuff. Let's let's go here. So here I'm gonna buy the PS5. Uh, sorry, the PS4 version. I mean, it says PS4, PS5 because obviously the PS4 version works on PS5. But yeah, let's see. Let's see that. I mean, this is just it's just kind of stupid. It's the same thing, basically. In my opinion, they shouldn't have done this at all. There should have been no $70, 70 pound version. It should just be $60, 60 pounds. Um, but yeah, you know, what we're beginning to understand is that's the only Sony can be snakes. So, yeah. Here we go. So what I can see is sorry, the camera's literally obstructing <laughs> my view. Hold on, I'm just gonna make this full screen. Uh, it doesn't so doesn't help me. What I can see is I can see that all the stuff is good. I have my payment version. It says pre-order Horizon Forbidden West, PS4, PS5, 60 pounds. Requesting me to access pre-order and pay. Am I missing anything? Oh shit, it's done. <laughs> uh, my bad. Let me pull this to the side so I can see properly. Yeah, it says it's done. Thank you for your purchase. Um, it says I can download from my library. Well, there you have it. It says it's done. It literally just says PS4 on this particular version. Well, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop onto my PS5. I probably record this as well to let let's see if I can actually get this downloaded onto the PS4. But it's quite simple to do on the website. I purchased Horizon Forbidden West. I've been charged sixty pounds because um, I'm on the UK store. I do have a US store account, but it's kind of a hoop buying stuff on that thing because uh, Sony's got that whole region lock down pat but yeah okay let's um let's give it a shot let's see if we can upgrade this before the download if not i'll let you know if i can i'll let you know if if not i'll let you know how it fares when i get there when when it launches later this week uh or this coming week rather and yeah i'll let you know how it fares later this coming week and let you know if i can is upgraded to PS5 because if it's not, I'm going to be complaining and requesting a refund. Um, but yeah, should be good. All right, peace. Hey guys, so just a quick update. Um, I went to my PS4, sorry, I went to my PS5 and I tried to see if I could preload or download Horizon Forbidden West, and unfortunately, um, well, actually I can, but only the PS4 version, and there's no point in downloading the PS4 version because if you download the PS5 version, it's not a simple patch, it's a whole new game update, so I'm not going to be preloading. Horizon Forbidden West, so when it comes out, I will have to download it. Um, well, I'll have to one check to make sure that they're still keeping their promise and I can actually upgrade it to the PS5 version. And then I'll also have to download it um, 
on the day of release. Hopefully it all works out. We'll see um, what they end up doing. But as you can see here, it only says Horizon Forbidden West PS4. Download only get me to PS4 download. And um, if I go to the product page, right, you can see if you can see it says pre-ordered. Um, and I can't, I can't like there's a digital upgrade, but I can't do that before I download. Meanwhile, this 70 pound one is for both. It's just really stupid. It should not exist. They should have just gotten rid of this. Um, if you see this video, make sure you shout out at Sony on their Twitter handles. Instagram wherever and tell them that it sucks. It's it's BS. You know they're it's it's it. This is a duplicitous po policy. It's it's not cool. Um, and gotta give credit to Xbox where credit is due. With smart delivery, you buy the game once and it's the same price. It's sixty dollars and you get it everywhere on every console. And I think that's what um, PlayStation should be doing. Like the DualSense controls are cool, whatever, but I don't think the amount of I don't know. I think they still make a ton of money worth in profit, and I don't think they need to add an extra 10 pounds to do that for us. That's how I really feel. So you let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. 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 Whatever. Bye.